Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to our Party HQ today. Uh, we've called you here because we are issuing a media release now, and um, after we finish with the contents of the release, uh, we will take your questions. So I'll start off with the uh, English uh, version, and Mr. Lau will, will come on later with the Chinese. The Workers' Party has expelled Yao Shenlong from the party with immediate effect. The Workers' Party believes strongly in transparency and accountability and expects no less from our party members, especially our members of parliament. Shenlong has been accused of several indiscretions in his private life. By continuing not to account to the party and the people, especially the residents of Aoka, he has broken the faith, trust and expectations of the party and the people. This is a difficult and painful decision for us. Shin Leung has been a core member of the party leadership for more than 10 years and has made significant and unique contributions towards WP's growth. He has also served the residents of Aokang diligently. However, the council has decided that it is in the public interest to take this step. We also believe it is only fair to the Aokang residents that they have another opportunity to elect their Member of Parliament. We apologise for having to put them through a by-election. We wish to assure Aokang residents that they will continue to be served by the party until the by-election is called. The Meet the People sessions in Aokang will continue with the other MPs covering. Residents are free to contact any WP MP for assistance. In addition, Town Council services will continue to be provided by the Aljunit Aokang Town Council. Finally, we wish to thank the public for their concern towards the party and for walking with us through this difficult period. I'd like now to pass over to Mr. Lau, who will make the release in Chinese. Gong 他选择不回应也不出来解释清楚我们不能够辜负后港选民的支持和期望我也感谢在这困难时期so um, these are the releases that we will uh, issue and we will give you hard copies to take away also if you want and uh, it will be uploaded on our website as well. So um, perhaps we can open up for questions here, yeah, Imelda? Um, could you give us some background as to what exactly that party, this decision, and why did it take you so long to come up with the party leadership to come up and say anything about the 
Uh, Mr. Yao, you mean? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, this is obviously a complex matter, and uh, the party leadership had very limited information uh, in, in the first place. And of course, when we make decisions like this, uh, we do not take it lightly because it has implications not just on the party but also on the residents of Aukang and perhaps on Singapore generally. So the party would need to go through its process and uh, make a collective decision uh, as best as it can as the situation has, has unfolded. Yeah, uh, Wei-Chang. Uh, we had a meeting and a decision was taken here. Yeah. Uh, last night. It is, of course, indeed a very difficult decision to make, and it is disappointing. Although he has uh, made his contribution to the party in the past, however, the party believes in transparency and accountability. We cannot compromise the basic fundamental principle which we believe in. Although it is a difficult decision and it's a painful one to make, we will have to make so that the Workers' Party and its MPs can stand tall, can hold the head up to take the PAP government to account. As we said earlier, um, the reason for the CEC's decision is our basic belief in the importance of transparency and accountability. And the CEC took this decision because, uh, as mentioned, in the face of these allegations made, uh, Shin Leung has not come forward to address them, and we feel that this falls short of what we expect, especially of an elected MP. I think this is a decision that Mr. Yao, uh, as an adult, has to make, and uh, we have to expect him to make his own decision on this. I beg your pardon. Can you can you repeat your question? No, as we have said, um, we are taking this decision because we have certain expectations as far as uh, accountability and transparency are concerned. We are not making any statement about whether the allegations are true or not, but we are saying that we expect, especially our MPs, to be responsible. So that's the reason why we are taking the, the decision, and uh, we feel it's only fair for the outcome voters to have another chance to uh, make that decision. Uh, we invited uh, Shin Leung to come uh, to speak with us, uh, but he has not done so. Uh, I'd rather not go into all these details, okay, but uh, I can assure you that the due process was uh, followed. Uh, no. Uh, dates as in what? Um, we are not in control of the by-election, so the Prime Minister has to decide uh, when to call is it. Is there any indication, like, usually after how long they uh, This is an interesting question that was debated in Parliament before, and uh, under our constitution, there's no written time limit for when the by-election can be called. But of course, our own expectation is that in an SMC, uh, we feel that the need will be quite apparent, so that's up to Prime Minister to, uh, to tell us the date. How confident is the party in keeping the program? I don't think we want to speculate uh, how our gun voters will vote, but we have to make this decision so that voters in our gun have another opportunity to decide.
你讲到最后，我感觉是哪里？嗯，是整个木人党。啊？整个木人党还有会长。你说选民的支持度还是？我想我们没有办法判断支持度有没有影响。我们做这个决定也不是单单是支持度的问题，是原则上的问题。我们要求议员必须负责任，所以有了这样的一个报道跟传闻，不出来澄清，那是不负责任的行为。我们不允许这样的议员继续当议员下去。Uh, I don't think we want to go into these details. I mean, the purpose of our announcement today is actually to tell you all that we have made a decision to expel Shin Leong because he has not addressed the allegations. Uh, at the moment, she is, but I, I like to stress that uh, these remain uh, allegations. Okay, sorry. To what extent do you think this whole affair has tarnished the party's image? Uh, I mean, there's no doubt that attention has been drawn to the party, and uh, we are, of course, cognizant of that. Uh, but at the same time, we are also firm in our own beliefs about what uh, we expect of our party members and of our MPs. And um, the action that we have taken may be no doubt deemed by some to be very drastic, but we feel that this is something necessary for us to do, uh, and it is in the public interest for us to do that. Um, and we would like to assure the party, uh, the public in that sense, that we are serious in uh, our commitment to maintain high standards. Yes, Shari? I don't think it is uh, the party leadership's prerogative because the party leadership also was not cognizant of many of the facts. So we were not in a position really to, to address um, the substance of the allegations. I mean, as we mentioned just now, the key point is that uh, there, was a, there were some allegations made um, against Shen Yong's uh, private life, several allegations, and we feel that we, can, we have to expect our elected MPs to address the allegations in a responsible manner. And uh, unfortunately, we do not think that in this case our expectations have been met, and we think that the public also deserves to have them addressed. Can you repeat your question again? I don't think we want to go into the number of times, but what I can tell you is that we have um, asked him to come to speak to the council uh, on these things, and um, he, he has not done so. You mean, uh, I beg your pardon? Well, from what I know, we received some queries from the media. So that was the first time that we were aware that the media was looking into this matter. Uh, apart from that, I don't think I can answer for our other members. Uh, no. 
Uh, probably it will be confirmed on nomination day of the by-election. Yeah. Well, you know, at the, after a, a candidate is chosen or selected by the party, uh, there is always a, a, an opportunity for that individual to make it clear to the party whether there's anything that he or she would like to reveal about himself, any indiscretion, anything whatsoever. Um, the fact of the matter is, you know, uh, I think DPMT also repeated it in, in, in Parliament yesterday. You can only... Uh, make an assessment on the basis of the information that you have and what people tell you and what your own assessment, what your own judgment is. Now, if this person turns uh, into something that is not what your party stands for, then uh, some hard decisions have to be taken. In any case, I think you know that there's no selection process which is foolproof. So, um, of course, we have our own due diligence processes, uh, but there is a limit, of course, to how, how far this can, you know, guarantee that nothing will ever happen. As we mentioned in the press release, uh, and what we just said just now, uh, we, our assessment is that he has fallen short of the standards we expect in terms of responsible behavior. Uh, in the face of, of these allegations, we would expect, especially our elected members, to come forward to address the allegations, not only to the party leadership, but also to the public. And that is the reason why uh, we feel that um, he has not met uh, what we expect and uh, he's being expelled. He was not there. He was invited to come for the meeting, but uh, he didn't. And he was informed of uh, the fact that the CC was meeting to discuss this matter, and he was invited to come to address uh, the CC on whatever he, he deemed fit, uh, but he chose not to come. You mean of the decision? Uh, well, this morning, um, I uh, spoke to his wife, um, who is in contact with him because I, I could not contact him, and uh, she told me that they are aware of it, of the decision. I do not know, but um, I, I am confident that they are aware of it. Uh, I'll be there. You see, because we are not in a position to confirm or disconfirm whether the allegations are true or not, but we expect our MPs to have a high standard of responsibility. So in this instance, based on the facts of this case, uh, we do not believe that he has been accountable and transparent. I mean, of course, I think we... Uh, have, each of us have our own standards and expectations, and of course there could be some variations also in the public about what is okay or not okay. But whatever it is, for this particular incident, um, as, we, as mentioned by Mr. Lau also just now, the fundamental thing for us also is that transparency and accountability is key. And in this case, uh, it has not been met. No, I think we also uh, had uh, met uh, monthly. I think we, that was made known to, your, to the public as well. So earlier in the month, there was a the regular monthly meeting. Uh, anyway, this, this matter, as you know, has been going on for quite a number of days, you know, and, and he, there, there was no prohibition whatsoever for him to, to meet with the council uh, in any way.
Okay, General, you want to answer that? The Workers' Party, CC, makes its decisions collectively. So, uh, as, as, as in the case of all major decisions that we take, we do take a vote. And uh, so, yes, there was a vote taken, and, which is our normal procedure for important decisions like this. The decision was not unanimous, but there was the, the party members have, uh, the CC members uh, got the chance to, to air their the concerns, and uh, I think it's a good sign that that uh, it's it's not the, the decision on these kind of things is not driven by one person, but it's a collective decision that's taken by the whole council, and the whole council will be accountable for that decision that's taken. What are some of the concerns uh, had by the I'm, I'm not going to go into the details of uh, what we discussed. The same thing, I'm not going to go into those details. So what I can tell you is that uh, there is a clear majority for the motion to expel Yao from the party. point was the newspaper reports that started coming out, I believe, on the Thursday. Uh, we had um, a new paper report and I believe some reports in the Chinese media of other uh, personalities, other women, and um, at that point, uh, the party realized that there could be more individuals and we were not in the know of what information is the, was in the hands of the media, uh, who are these women, what are the details, we did not know any of that but uh, our concern was um, previously it was just one individual and there's scope when you have one individual for, that in, uh, for Yao to have come out and accounted himself to the people in a responsible manner but with more individuals coming to the fore, uh, we did not feel that uh, keeping quiet was an option anymore. The obligation to be upfront with the people, to be upfront with the party, to the voters, took a new turn. And uh, he continued in his course of action to remain silent. And as stressed by Chairman, uh, we did not feel that was in keeping with the standards the Workers' Party expects from its elected MPs. Okay, that's a good question. Um, anyway, the WP Constitution uh, has an article, uh, 22, uh, which allows the Council to consider certain actions to be taken against members uh, if, for example, uh, it finds that a member has behaved in a way that is uh, contrary to either the aims or objects of the party or has acted in such a way that prejudices the welfare of the party. So council made those deliberations with the article in mind. Uh, under the procedure, there is a possibility for him under the constitution to appeal to our uh, Carter conference uh, and that uh, is, is of course open to him. Lingxian的制度 坦白地說,不過我沒有這個理由去問一些很隱私的事情,我必須尊重個人的隱私。
说，这这个问题可能不是我自己会问的，可能很多的选民都会有这样的疑问。那如果选民这样子问你的话，你打算怎么告诉他们？你是刚才那个问题，怎么这样问？我已经告诉你了嘛，不过选民我怕也会理解吧，对吗？通常呢，呃，我当然我不清楚这个事情的来龙去脉，呃的，不过问题是，这种事情的发生，有时候我想连他身边最亲密的人都可能都不知道，你能够期待外人知道吗Answered the question earlier on. It is a painful decision, but it's a necessary one to take it for the party to move forward and to be effective in taking the BAP government to account. Ah, not impact. Ah, we in the government have many young leaders. He is one of them. 
I, as far as I know, but I don't know prior to me whether there was such uh, action taken by the WP. But that's as far right. as I can recall, um, I think that that's the, the first time.